Prise numéro 30. J'adore ce lancement. I've been teaching for 25 years already in this school in Geneva. It's called ETM, it stands for École des Technologies Musicales. And the thing is, it's a, um, there is a professional courses in the last uh, two years. And uh, it's all about learning harmony, theory, uh, how, how to act and behave when you're on stage. Uh, I'm teaching guitar and improvisation over there. And uh, it's very expensive because it's Swiss. How much it is? Uh, I don't know the prices, to be honest. I just know it's very expensive. I just know the salary that I'm getting <laughs> from this, and that's it. How much it is? Uh, <laughs> I don't speak about those things. Yeah. But I, I'd say, just to have an idea and to compare things, what you would get in two days, I'm teaching two days per week, equals approximately what a regular French teacher would get in, in one week and a half. So it's very well paid. Yeah. Actually, when I went to, um, you know, as an old man, I had to go to the military uh, tuition during one year. Yes. And uh, I had quite long hair. I was, you know, like that. So when I arrived there, they kind of shaved me. And uh, after all the stuff that we, we ate over there, the food was really bad. When I came back from that year, it never grew any <laughs> anymore here. So I started a little bit to grew it up longer a little bit, but it started to um, to appear to be too obvious over here. So <laughs> I kind of decided to make it to make it clear. One small step for my man. Well, it's a nice shooting day. It's relaxing. It's easy. Interesting question. <laughs> nice people. Great sausage. Great cheese. Tasty white wine. <laughs> No, it's a. Uh, you enjoy? It's like being in the office on the outside, so it's good. That's good. No, it's a, it's a very nice day, and I'm having a really good time with you. Thank you, that's fine. I'm one of the best educated guy in the, in the planet. Me? No, me. Oh. <laughs> I'm saying good stuff about everyone. I introduce you to my city. So, this is Annecy. Annecy is super nice, it's a really relaxing place to be. So when you're working a lot and doing a lot of concerts, it's really a nice place to be when you want to take a little break. So uh, that's nice, isn't it? Yes. You don't like to play music for other people? Or? It's not that I don't like, it's that I don't really have the time to. Uh, and I guess I, I don't get lots of proposals because most of the people know that I'm not available that much. But yes, I would love to. There are some people, for example, there is one guy in Finland called uh, Mika Tiska. And um, we, we, have the, uh, we have the project of playing together and playing a little bit of his stuff and playing a little bit of my stuff and trying to do something with that. But right. once again, uh, he is touring all over the world. I'm, I'm touring all over the world all year through 
and we, we spoke about that like three years ago and uh, we never really get the you know the timing for doing that but actually that's what I did with Olivier Roman Garcia because we both have our uh, individual careers and at some point we decided to do something together and uh, we finally made it and we did a record with that but it took like five years before we really got to do it so uh, but if, if someone just send you something you try it or yeah, at least I will listen to it but I can't promise to have the time to really uh, to really get deep into it and when you're playing somebody else's music the least that you can do is really to, to try to get into the culture and the, the personality of that person so if you do it you know like uh, you know like you just one one another job or something you won't be deep into it and I guess this is not really uh, respectful to the person who sends you the uh, the music you stop walking so we stop here look at that in my back Isn't that beautiful? It's really nice. I just made it for you. <laughs> I spent the whole night building up those mountains, filling up this lake with water from my bathroom. Took me a huge amount of time. So you'd better like it and you'd better shoot it. Ami de la Cap Corde! So, so friends, it's a, friends. It's well, a small town, everybody knows each other. Welcome to Auntie! I like rock and roll. <laughs> One of our best diplomats. Jolly Coons. Ambassador. <laughs> Scott Henderson. Why? Because he's the best. No, just because he's the one who mixes together um, the raw en en energy of rock, the uh, subtleties of jazz, the... Uh, what else? Well, he's got all that blues culture. He's one of the most complete guitarists of our time. And uh, he's, um, he makes no compromise when he plays. I mean, he, he, he doesn't want to please anyone. He just comes as, this is me, accept it and take it as it is. I don't care. And I keep on playing. And I saw him, uh, it was last year or two years ago. He was playing for maybe, I don't know, 30 people. And he was just playing just as if there were, I don't know, two, three thousand. And he, he didn't give a fuck, he was just playing, and that's it. And I love it. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston. <laughs>